The convoy started in Lahaina at around 1 p.m. and proceeded to central Maui, picking up convoy participants along the way at designated spots along the route. The convoy comes amid heightened tensions atop Mauna Kea on Hawaii Island, where a demonstration against the 30-meter telescope nears 60 days. On Friday, state crews removed an unpermitted structure near the demonstration site, tearing a Hawaiian flag in the process. I think when they cut the flag, it kind of brought out a different animal in this. Organizers said demonstrators on every island are trying to strategically plan what would be the best method to address the issue. So Maui, uh, just right at the spare of the dime, we said, okay, every island is assembling, we need to do something. And we need to do something in a peaceful manner to really implement that there is kapu aloha that is instilled on what we are doing. Airport officials said they were expecting about 80 vehicles to circle the facility and had increased security patrols accordingly in coordination with Maui police. Basically, we just want the traffic to be able to flow uh, without disruption uh, to the airport operations. Uh, for passengers, both visitors and locals arriving and departing. Many of the travelers that we spoke with said they experienced only minor delays in getting into the terminal and fairly short lines once within the airport facility itself. Today, I've, I've been coming every week and traveling. Just getting here, it, it kind of took a while, but um, it, wa it wasn't too bad. But yeah, coming down, coming close to here like five, 10 minutes ago, it was, we're kind of just sitting there cruising. During a morning meeting, organizers consulted with Maui police. Authorities said it is lawful to drive through the area and utilize crosswalks. However, it is unlawful to impede or stop traffic. Several vehicles with flags were pulled over by police on the backside as the convoy circled around the terminal. During a similar demonstration convoy held in July, four motorists were cited for driving too slow through the airport area and impeding traffic flow. For KHON2 News on Maui, I'm Wendy Osher with Maui Now.